If you learned a Christian song in the early years of your life, there's a good chance you learned Jesus Loves Me. If you need a refresher on the lyrics, it goes something like this. You could sing along if you'd like. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. I mean, how can you hope but smile when you sing that song? There's a good reason we love that song, and it goes beyond the fact that it's true. We love it because it's about me. Jesus loves me. Me, me, me. I am the object of his love. Well, to capture the full spirit of the song, you know, we could just wrap our arms around each other when we sing it. What a comfort it is. I mean, try it if you like. It makes you feel good. Okay, please, don't burn me for heresy. I really do like the song. I do. But it can be a problem, if I'm honest, because my tendency already is to want everything to be about me. Me, me, me is the song we like to sing. The whole idea of this book, Backwards, is that to make everything about me feel so appropriate. And that's the problem. We naturally make ourselves the center of every story. Our first filter in life is the one that judges something good or bad, right or wrong, by how it affects me. And we all do it. But it's backwards to the way that God designed life. This truth that Jesus loves me is a basic building block for life. And remember, with God it is all about you. That's why he sent Jesus to die on the cross to pay for your sin. But once you follow him, it's no longer about you. It's about others. Jesus wants everyone to know him. Once you join the family of God, it's the preoccupation of this family to live your life on mission, on purpose, all the time for others to know Jesus. It's not about you. That's the plan, and it's a good thing. Trust Jesus to meet your needs as you serve. Trust his love as you go through your life. It will always be there for you. And when you live the life that is sent, there's a divine return cycle that's better than any you could create on, create on your own. You become your brother's keeper, and God becomes your keeper. To the extent that we live with this perspective, life makes sense. You know, a better children's song, perhaps a theme song for living sin, would be the song, Jesus Loves the little children, all the children of the world, red and yellow, black and white, they're precious in a sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. I mean, it's fine to sing both songs if you want to live sent, but don't just sing the first song, Jesus loves me, if you don't also sing the second, Jesus loves the children of the world. So what's God asking you to trust him to do? To whom is he leading you to serve? Will you live backwards for his glory?